Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of my bi-monthly author life goals for September and October. In my first video, I shared all of my writerly and author platform goals for the next two months, and there were a lot of them. So if you missed that, you can go check that out here and below. But in this video, I'm gonna take all of those goals and somehow schedule them and make sure I'm gonna get all of them done by using my bullet journal. As I shared in my last video, I've been working with author coach Jade Young and she's been helping so much and has given me the tools to set up everything I'm going to show you so I will be linking her program below if you want to check that out but basically besides helping me set up all of my goals Jade also helped me nail down actual deadlines for like literally everything which during this process we found out was something that I really struggled with that I didn't even know I struggled with and along with that we're also working on figuring out weekly and daily routines that balance my author life with my personal life. Want to see what it looks like? Let's get into it. First thing I considered was how much time I wanted to devote to this new career and what personal things I had to work around. So even if you can't do author things full time yet, notice I say yet, you can still use these same principles to schedule your own time. For me, I basically decided that weekends were for my husband, church, family, and vacations. Maybe the occasional writing event or time to catch up on writing if I needed or wanted, but otherwise I didn't want to have to work on the weekends. So that left the weekdays, Monday through Friday. So I drew out those days here. You'll also see here that I left some more room in certain parts of my day's timeline as I knew certain hours might have multiple things in them. So some hours have two blocks and some hours have one. I also have this separate section up at the top here to list my top three absolute priorities for the day, but we'll talk about this section a little bit more later. During the week, I wanted to make sure I mirrored my husband Ben's work schedule so that unless he wanted some downtime to himself, I was free to help him with anything in the morning and spend time with him when he got home from work. So I put in little B's for Ben to mark when he leaves and when he comes home. By the way, while I do outline the days, times, and lines in this spread in pen, I usually write all the other details in pencil so I can easily adjust my schedule if I decide something works better in the future. And also so I can correct mistakes like this one I just made. But I decided to work out everything in pen here so you can read it easier in the video. I also needed to write down when I would have lunch because God knows how many times I've been in the zone and forgotten to eat during the day. And I also wanted to know when I would make dinner and make sure that cleaning happened because again, I can get laser focused and before I know it, the day is gone and everything I wanted to do for the household just didn't get done. Oh, and I also really wanted to note my morning routine as it helps me start out the day with the right frame of mind. I'm not going to go in depth about my particular morning routine here because I want to get to the fun goals part, but if you'd like to see a video where I talk about my morning routine and how to create an effective one for yourself, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make that video too. After highlighting all these things in purple so I could see all the white space time that was left that I really had to work with, and after talking through some ideas with Jade about how to schedule the time I had, I then set up time blocks to do certain things each week that would help accomplish my goals. Here, you'll see me mark down that I wanted to start each day with my bullet journal, or Boho as some call it, to set up my to-do list for that particular day. And then I also noted a section at the beginning of the day when I would be posting on YouTube, Instagram, etc., and answering messages from the day before. I'm not 100% sure this daily to-do will stay at the beginning of the day, but for now I decided I'd like to do it in the morning so I could have the rest of the day for other things. Other blocks you'll see me insert are for things like long-term planning and dreaming, which I definitely wanted to include as I never want to get into a rut of just maintaining what I'm doing week to week, but to always have designated time to dream and plan for that future book or project. Obviously, there are also whole blocks of time solely dedicated to whatever book project I'm working on at the time, and what I do during these blocks will depend on what part of the book process I'm in. Some months I will be drafting, others editing, maybe going through beta readers, or querying. 
Most of my other time blocks you'll see here are for content batching sessions, which are for filming and editing my videos, as well as writing all of my video scripts, blog posts, and Instagram posts for the following week. My goal right now is actually to try to create two weeks worth of content during these batching sessions so I can devote even more time to working on my book. But in the future, I might also try committing one whole week each month to batch a month's worth of content and then keep the other three weeks of the month to purely writing and posting the content I created. But I think I'll experiment and see what works best. And if you guys would like me to keep you updated as I try out different things and find out new tips and tricks, definitely let me know that in the comments. The other thing I'm adding here as well is that I will probably be multitasking while I clean or cook on certain days by listening to writerly podcasts, YouTube videos, and audiobooks so I can keep learning. I'm actually looking for a few more podcasts to add to my library, so if you guys know of any great ones I should be listening to, be sure to let me know that as well. Finally, after I schedule everything out, I look at my days and pick out the top three priorities for each day. This way, if I can say I've done these two to three things by the end of the day, I can count my day a success. And if something comes up that makes me have to shift my schedule, like a holiday or a family event or emergency, I know what things I need to make priority with whatever time I end up having or what I need to fit in somewhere else. Once I've completed this, this weekly spread is what I use to reference at the beginning of each day to set my intentions. I might even set alarms so I know when I'm moving into my next time block, and I'd also use this to make my more specific daily to-do list. If you'd like to see a video on how I use my bullet journal more day to day, let me know and I can definitely make a future video on some monthly and daily spread ideas for authors. In the meantime, I do have another bullet journal video on a different channel of mine that shows more of a daily spread idea I was using for a while. So I'll link that below if you'd like to check that out for now. Well guys, I hope that was really helpful. And whether you are a full-time author or you have a full-time job or a part-time job or you're at home with the kids all day, whatever your situation, I hope this at least gave you some principles where you feel like you can look at your present schedule, identify where your free time is, and then purposely plan that free time to get some writing done and get your author platform off the ground. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more productivity tips from me in the future, definitely let me know that in the comments and give this video a like, which also supports my channel in a big way. That's all I have for you guys today. So happy planning, set those goals, set that schedule. And until next week, happy writing.